In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to open a PDF file in Illustrator. First, open up Illustrator. We're gonna to go to open. You can go to file, open if you want, and navigate to the PDF that you wanna open. I'm gonna open up this media guide I created for Pacers Gaming. That's gonna open up the PDF import options. So first thing to know here, the range is just the first page. If you wanna open up a specific set of pages, you can change that here. Or if you wanna open up all the pages, you can click that before you click OK. Right now it's gonna open these pages as links for optimal performance, it says. I wanna be able to edit everything in this PDF and I'm assuming you do too. So I'm gonna uncheck that and hit OK. Now it's actually gonna pull in these assets and kinda of rework it a little bit so we can edit it here in Illustrator. Okay, so I've got this PDF in here. Now the first thing it does is it creates an artboard for every page in your PDF. Looks like I got like nine, 10 pages, something like that here. So I've got all these artboards. Generally what it does is it just lines them all up and if it goes beyond your canvas, it just keeps lining them up down below, depending on how long your PDF is. If you wanna rearrange these, what you want to do is go to your properties panel or you can press shift O for the artboard tool and in your quick actions you can rearrange all. So we can decide how many columns we want, let's say three columns, and you can decide how this layout goes. Does it go left to right or does it go down first then to the right to the next column? Also the spacing, what you want to make sure is checked is move artwork with artboard. You want everything on your artboard to move to the new spot. Hit OK, and now you can see it'll rearrange my PDF. So this is a little bit more manageable for me, and now I can just kind of go left to right. If you wanted to do just two columns, and it'll just go left, right, left, right, all the way down, you can do that too. Anyway, so I've got this PDF in here. I wanna show you a few intricacies about working with PDF documents here in Illustrator. A lot of times Illustrator will create groups and clipping masks, depending on how it views certain elements in PDFs. The other thing that's going on here is you may or may not have the fonts that are in the PDF. So you might have text that's highlighted and you have to change the font, etc. So there's a lot of little things, but I do open up PDFs a decent amount in Illustrator to try to grab vector assets Sets that maybe someone sent me a logo and they didn't send me the vector, but they sent me like their PDF guidelines. I can grab the logos out of that. So there's, there's some reasons to open up a PDF that hasn't necessarily been created in Illustrator. And you can see here, everything on this page is grouped together, right? So the easiest way to kind of get down to the different assets in here is to right click and start to ungroup things. So we ungrouped that and then I can click off and see if I can move it. Nope, there's still another group. And that's something a lot of times that happens. And in fact, this isn't even a group. Now you see instead of group, we have a clipping mask. So we can release that clipping mask, click out and okay, now we're starting to get some elements. See there was a shape hidden underneath this image and that was part of the reason that it kind of created this clipping group. Once you release all these groups and release all the clipping groups, you can start to edit these items individually. You might notice a couple other things. This, for instance, was created in InDesign, exported as a PDF, and then now imported here, and it did not keep the paragraph text. So this text, each line of it, is just a line that I would have to edit like this. So just keep that in mind as you're working with PDFs. Look, it's not perfect, but you can open it you can make edits. And if you wanted to, you could recreate text boxes. It just kind of depends on how much you're trying to get into this document and edit different things. But that is how to open PDFs, edit them, release clipping masks and groups. Most everything on your page is gonna be in some kind of group. So just right click it, ungroup. You might have to right click it again, release clipping mask. And there may even be more objects as you dive deep down into this document that you need to release the clipping mask for to actually get to them. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below.